Yep. First day back in his E36. seats were taken out and then somebody took them off my front yard I was like what the fuck <laughs> so, so shitty anyway I just rolled up and I was like hey seats <laughs> <laughs> Ready to torque it down now. First pass, now we gotta wait 25 minutes. So so since I got the most tedious part of the engine work done, I decided to go ahead and begin removing the uh, front struts and sway bar end links so I can replace them because they've seen better days. I was surprised to see that the uh, Bilstein struts were still returning after compressing the pistons on them. I mean, as you can tell in the video, they returned a little bit slower, but I'm surprised they're returning at all because I'm assuming they have very high mileage because I bought them secondhand uh, back in high school, maybe like five years ago or so. Um, I did go with the sack struts just for now because I didn't want to spend a ton of money because eventually I would like to get coilovers and I didn't want to spend three, four hundred dollars on front struts that um, I'll likely be replacing, you know, five, six months down the line anyway. But nevertheless, the new sax struts ride way better. Um, they absorb bumps way better. Um, it is just a hair bit more bouncy, but I did expect that. And I do just drive to work and back, so it doesn't really bother me too much. I don't really do too much mountain driving or track driving just yet so these will get me by for now point is new struts ride better than old struts <laughs> not really comparing the two brands because I'm sure a new set of Bilstein sports will ride way better as well So I just put the suspension back together, um, new front struts and sway bar end links. So that's done, exhaust is bolted up. Um, really all I gotta do now is just reconnect the cooling system and the harness and that'll be it. Timing cover is on, timing is set, head is torqued down.
All right, car is done. Um, yeah, I'm driving it now and stuff. So, time to focus on the white car. I just checked on Pull Apart earlier and I saw that they had an M30 up there, so I'm very highly considering picking it up. You know, a B35, of course. Yeah. Black car runs now, so now it's time to fix the white car, and then if the blue car hasn't sold by that time, then I might just say fuck it and start fixing up the blue car too, and we'll just have all working vehicles in the house. Wouldn't that be weird? Something to keep me occupied for now. But yeah, as y'all know, I like to try to make each video a little bit better than the last and I guess with this one being that I'm filming in 4k now and I'm gonna see how that turns out on YouTube if you have any suggestions as to what I could improve on or what I could do um, differently maybe or just maybe even throw some new ideas out for the channel I'm, I'm all ears for uh, you know new suggestions because you know I want the channel to grow and uh, be as diverse as possible I'm trying to really like I said I'm trying to step out of just automotive stuff but you know it is a big part of my life the name obviously came from the cars I drive 12 valve cars and you know whether it's the black car or the white car one of the two cars gets driven so that's pretty much where the name came from 12 valve daily I'm hoping to start attending events soon of some sort maybe car meets and whatnot it's just I work a lot of overtime and um, you know that's just what it is on top of being a dad and trying to maintain the house and do other things and trying to learn other things and it just has me tied up but it'll all come together eventually but I do appreciate you guys for watching and supporting me so far even though my channel is not that big yet we will get big though I promise that for sure for now I guess just stay tuned and we'll see What's going to be next on the channel? Peace.